Hey, uh, Mike here. I'm going to show you a tutorial on uh, in UDK about um, fracture meshes and impulse actors, and I am using the May 2011 version. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to make a fracture mesh that breaks up bit by bit, and also a fracture mesh that breaks up all in one and I'm going to have impulse actors that with a trigger volume or a trigger it causes impact basically so that happens okay um, I've got a fresh window here with a basic scene if you need to know how to make a basic scene there's loads of YouTube tutorials out there but um, fragile meshes and impulse actors so um, I've been using the UDK content so just type in wall and select static meshes and I'm going to use this one uh, you, to make a fracture mesh you double click it go into it um, the mesh has to have collision which you can view pressing this collision button here to make a fracture tool tool or then fracture tool to choose the amount of pieces you want use this scalar here I'm going to have 60 and you press generate and you can see here it split it you can press generate again to choose a different selection I'm just going to go with that one and this fracture tool, I'm um, pressing slice at the bottom left there to make that this fracture tool is um, hang on meshes we'll call it blahs okay that was saving it into your package and stuff there um, this fracture tool is going to be the one that explodes all at once and to do that um, in these options here can become dynamic um, this composite chunks explode on impact that makes it all explode at once instead of just one piece basically so you want to tick that um, you can modify the health here I'm going to put it really low so I'm going to put it on 15 and 10 so it breaks in like one shot basically this material on zero here is the material on the object at the moment so if you copy and paste that into the one one that was blank before that now when it uh, fractures, all the inside bits that aren't UV'd are now textured with the same texture basically. Um, then you want to scroll down to the bottom and there's three tick box here which are three types of collision. Untick, box collision and line collision because that means uh, once the fracture pieces are gone um, the collision that was there for those parts is now gone basically. So that's that one done so I'll preview this one that there, build all and then I'm going to play an editor I've only got half a screen um, okay. I've only got half a screen but you can still see no you can't <laughs> okay now when you shoot a few times it will break someone Okay, and to make the other type of fracture that I had, choose the same wall, double click it, go into fracture tool again, let's generate, uh, let's generate less pieces, say 40. Um, I don't like that one. That one's better, I think. Okay. Um, this time we are going to use these buttons here to save time select bottom, that selects all the bottom ones um, I don't think I want that one can I select them? Oh, they come together apparently um, and then you want to have them selected and select, uh, tick support junk that basically means um, if you don't shoot any of the top ones or destroy any of the top ones but you destroy these highlighted ones here that means the whole thing comes down basically so it's a bit more realistic and then you slice let's call it boobs okay and we want to do can become dynamic again we don't want to do composite chunks explode on impact because we want it to come apart piece by piece um, change the max health down to one and one so it literally is one shot we need to copy and paste the material again and scroll down to the bottom change box collision and line collision and we're done now we drag and drop boobs in 
place that and then move this over here build all again and then we play and it breaks apart piece by piece that's a pretty bad piece of fracture right there you wouldn't want that so you'd generate it again but um, basically the way this one works is quite clever we break all the pieces so it's split this is a very bad fracture it falls apart basically and if I took out all the bottom ones it would all come down basically so that's that Okay, and now we're going to look at impulse actors. Um, you go into the maintenance builder, actor classes, you want to go into the physics bit, and then down here, RB radial impulse actor. Drag and drop that, or you can just have it selected and right click, and it's there. Um, you then want to move it where you want it to affect, basically, and I'm going to put it behind this wall in the center and a little bit closer and I'm gonna make it a bit bigger as well oh, that's a bit big. yeah that's nice okay first off what we want to do is we want to press F4 with it selected and you wanna tick this so it'll be in the top one impulse component impulse component again and course fracture you want to tick that and this is the radius so I'm just going to make it 100 and just make 150 so you know 140 okay and then we've and then we can create either a trigger or a trigger volume or whatever you want basically and I'm just going to do a trigger volume like I had before and then with that selected I'm going to go to kismet event touch then we want to select this we want to input that as an object and uh, holding T and clicking give you a toggle or you can right click new action toggle toggle either one turn on target that's that simple enough and now the impulse actor will affect the fracture mesh when activated basically. So play from editor. So now if I stand in the trigger volume, it gets exploded. And if I um, lower the radius to 100, see what that does. And then play again it only affects the area it needs to basically so that's that um, adding explosions and sound effects around this can add to a really awesome thing and I'll put a link in the description um, to a video I did using basically what I've shown you as well as sound effects and explosions particle systems to make a pretty awesome action scene Thank you very much.